morning guys today is the first day of a like brand new schedule i decided this morning since i woke up early enough and the kids woke up early enough to start the morning with a bike ride and i don't always feel my best in the morning so i thought that maybe going on a bike ride getting some fresh air being out here in this beautiful park would do me some good and i was right there's nothing like being outdoors and a little bit of exercise to get you in a good mood. So today we're starting, we're talking about homeschool scheduling. I made a video the other day that explains how to make the best homeschool schedule for your family. We have personally been struggling this homeschool year with it. My son just hit sixth grade and at the beginning of the school year, the, all these months until now, he's lacked a lot of motivation and attention to do his work. But with a lot of practice and persistence, he's doing a lot better. Him and I have noticed is that he needs a little bit of time to wake up and get his brain moving in the morning. So now he wakes up, he sets his own alarm, which is a big thing that I really wanted of him was to find some independence and teaching him how to be independent because these are the years where he starts to learn those skills for going into high school and eventually to college. So he's waking himself up early so he can watch a little educational show. And it also gives him a chance to play in the morning before starting school. So he gets to have that play time that he still needs and have his time of waking up his own way. So what happened this morning was they woke up, I have my six year old and him, they watched their show, then they did their morning list, which, which consists of brushing their teeth, getting dressed for the day, unloading the dishwasher. My little one has to put on her glasses and uh, they have to, my son has to fix his hair and then my daughter has to wait for me to do her hair. So while well, they did that, they had breakfast as well. I did my morning stuff. I'll show you the books that I'm doing when I get back to the house that I'm reading in the, every morning. And then when I get back home, it's time for school. So we are gonna head back now. I didn't wanna be gone too long. So it took me about 15 minutes to get here, about 10 minutes of riding around and about 15 minutes going back. So it's a little longer than I wanted, but when you're out here, you just get lost in time and it's just so peaceful and relaxing. I'm just hoping to go back to positive attitudes and keep this mood uplifted because how hard is it when you're feeling great, but then your kids aren't and they kind of bring your mood down and then the whole day, can be go down the drain so i'm going to try not to let that happen today stay positive and keep the kids positive so here it is here we go so now the struggle is getting them from playing to school because they had some play time in the morning normally they don't but we're trying it out see if it works i am also i didn't eat i wasn't hungry yet i'm gonna have some i think i'm gonna have some boiled eggs and some yogurt and granola and strawberries for breakfast while my kids get out of the room and get started i'm also going to share with you the supplements that i take and the books that i read every morning as part of my self-care realize how important it is and didn't realize how much i needed how much self-care i need So this is my new planner. It's not a homeschool planner. I literally plan my homeschool day out on a composition notebook. I need pen and paper. Uh, there's nothing like pen and paper to me. So I gave up with the homeschool planners and I decided to just use a composition notebook. However, I do need a life planner. This is from Plum Paper Planner. I created these layouts where I have my three businesses up top and these are the things that I want to do every day for the businesses because a little progress each day leads to big results. Then I have today's general schedule for homeschool and then I have the house cleaning that I'm going to do. I haven't written my top goals yet. I might get a done list. So I check this every morning, see what needs to get done, try my best to stay on schedule. So the first thing we're gonna do, I also created this daily rhythm homeschool. So the first thing we're gonna do is for the first two hours, Aaron is gonna do his solo work, which is going to be spelling words that he's working on. I just made him a couple of um, reminder cards here. He's reading this boy's guide to really making really good choices. He's got his timer to keep him on track. 
He has to do a lesson in his language arts course book. He's doing the good and the beautiful level six. Today we have spelling, but this is what we do for one-on-one, -on -one, as well as the reading to me. But I do let him read it to himself. So today by himself, all he has to do is an art project, which he doesn't usually like to do. But I don't know if I should force him to do it. Then he has his handwriting and his mental math and then his actual math, which he has right now. So now I'm here with Arlen, who's having some of mommy's breakfast, right? Yeah. The first thing I do with Arlen is, this is her cart, and this is Aaron's cart. I'm still getting my homeroom set up eventually, one of these years it'll be set up, but first thing we do is spelling. I found this at Target in the beginning of the homeschool year, and I love it. And these are her spelling words that come from the good and the beautiful. So the first day, we um, I'm going to review the three words that she just passed on Friday on her quiz. And the way that I do spelling is on day one, I give her a new list of words. And she's going to write sentences from those words. And then on day two, we do homeschool four days a week. So on day two, we were going to do the spell it game, which has just different actions that she can do when she lands on them and she likes that to practice the words. And then on day three, we do spelling hangman. And if you know, if you want to know more about the spelling activities, we do check out the card above. And then on the final day, we do a spelling quiz. And if she doesn't get the words right, we carry them over to the next week until she learns them. So that's how we do spelling. So we're going to do spelling. She's going to do a lesson in her good and the beautiful language arts level two um we have the old good and the beautiful then she's also going to do a math lesson with the good and the beautiful level two so let's see what she's learning today so, um unit two these are all the targeted spelling words that she would be learning this unit and then this is going to be the homophones and then her spelling practice patterns the spelling rules the principles that are going to be taught and that's that. And we're gonna be reading these two stories in her personal reader. So today's lesson is, uh, so it's spelling and it's uh, spelling ink, ink, and all these things here, part one. She's gonna learn a new poem. And you're gonna cut out these houses over here and have, she has a little bit, this section here, when it's time for Ireland to do her independent work, these are the things she does on her own. And as well as with the math, she has her own. So right now we're gonna start with language arts. Ireland liked my yogurt so much that she had to make her own little thing. And I like Ireland to be independent. She's super, super independent. So she can make her own little snack, right? Yeah. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. By you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as to me and you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my little picture this is not gonna stay here but I made this for my husband for um, for um, Father's Day he's supposed to put it in his office but he's working from home right now so so this is him and this is me and this is Aralyn and Aaron and my daughter Kaylee and then this is our dogs Nala and, <laughs> and Selena and that funny <clears throat> We had it made. I'll send you the link if you guys are interested. I think, I think the, dogs look so the dogs look hilarious. I made them little. I told him. I told him what I wanted. I wanted Aaron, Darth Vader, and Princess Leia, and I wanted the dogs to be little Ewoks because she looks like an Ewok. So anyway, I have to walk the dogs. I have to walk the Ewoks right now. I was hoping my husband. Come with you to walk the Ewoks. You want to come with me? Okay. So when we come back, we finished most of the lesson, but when we come back, Ireland has to memorize a poem. The dragonfly and read for 10 minutes, which we have a book basket from the library, and she gets to pick a fall book this month, every day to read.
The walk took a little longer than it should have because an arborist came by and basically told us our root, our tree was rotted and it needed to come down. But when I came back, Aaron made me a little math problem and I had to find the fractions on the timeline and it's spelled I love you mom. He's so sweet. He ran away so he, I don't have to show his face. And then we had looked at our bush outside and Aaron found these little berries on it so she wants to go see what it is, go see what kind of plant it is. So these are the little moments of homeschooling that I love. When they show the things that they're learning and when they're interested and curious about the world, it'd be easy for me to just say, no, we have to go back into the workbook. But instead I want to take a moment and see because she loves she loves this stuff. So here's our little bush. Okay. Like little berries. And then, oh, there's, oh, there's like different color berries. In yeah, there. I took the, a green one, a red one, and a pink one. Okay, so let's, let's look it up. Let's see if we can find it. All right, turns out to be wild asparagus, a... but not like the vegetable. Mom, I have a question. It berries attract birds. Can we... Aaron is taking a little 10 minute break and Aaron is making a tincture out of the berries just for fun. And I am gonna take my active dietary supplement, this peach mango flavor. You just add it to water. And this is from Plexus, it's clean energy. It's made with vitamins and it has some green tea leaf in it. And it also has some coffee bean extract. It has turmeric and tart cherry and blueberry, broccoli and kale leaf and beet juice powder. It just really does give me the energy that I need for the day. No jitters, no crashes, no spikes. So I love this. I will post a link to it in the description below. It makes it like dyes the water red because the red kind of is like a dye. I want to see if it dyes the water red, but I can't because it's in a red bowl. Because it might dye the water red. The red ones are the ones that are ripe, and if they're ripe, then you just squish them and they open immediately. How about a little bit of honey? Yeah. So it heals like sickness. Cold. Yeah. So what would people do? Just drink it? Yeah. It's Water. Smells good, right? The honey yeah. makes it smell good. Yeah. Okay. Excuse my. Okay. Excuse my always messy table. I wanted to share with you guys the other vitamins that I'm taking, as well as the books that I use in the morning. So I also take this probiotic at night, and this probiotic is better than anything you'd find on the market because it has enzymes in it. Those digestive enzymes take all of the strands of the probiotic straight to the gut. Most probiotics die before they ever even reach the gut, but this one does not. And then this Slim Microbiome Activating Drink, also called the Pink Drink. This is a prebiotic, but it also, so it feeds all in the probiotics and feeds your good gut, gut bacteria, but it also has this thing here called Xylulagosaturide, and that is going to help you balance your blood sugar. So this is great for diabetics and helping to balance their blood sugar. So this helps to balance your gut as well. And then I also take the Bio Cleanse, which is a natural, gentle, daily cleanse. Just helps keep you regular. I also take this strand of probiotic called the Vital Biome when I need it. Like this morning, I had a bad dream and I woke up feeling anxiety. And so this is a strand of probiotics, a bunch of strands of probiotics that actually help to relax you. So it's uh, really good to reduce stress and still seed your gut. Now as far as the books, these are the books that I read in the morning. This first one is Tough Guys and Drama Queens. This is great for um, raising a teenager in today's world. A lot of homeschoolers have teenagers that are restricted and cut off from the rest of the world, but some of us do not. My daughter goes to public school and she's got a phone. This is really helping me through the process and helping me to learn a lot of different things. It talks about what's so different about today's culture, parenting practices to avoid, parenting practices that really work. I'm also reading this woman's devotional guide. So what I do every morning is I read a chapter from here and I read one, oh, a two-page devotional from here along with my everyday bio, bio, Bible, Amplified Version from Joyce Meyer. 
So I also read the notes that are in here. I don't care what anybody says. I love Joyce Meyer and I love her practical tips. And then I just got this from a YouTuber, um, Jody A actually, the Better De Mom devotional. Um, she was doing this and she read one and I just loved it. So it's just a Better Mom devotional. Take fun more seriously. So today we learned about to say goodbye to the perfect home. And as you can see, my home is not perfect. It's messy, especially today. So that's what I do. That's part of my morning routine. Here's our library book basket. It also has some things in here to do for independent time. So if Ireland was done and she had nothing else to do, she could do her apple twist game or do her, her uh, weaving loom. But these are the fall books that we have. I made a little video. I'll post it in the card above. These are the so you clicked on this video curious as to what homeschooling looks like. It could look like laying in a hammock reading a book or lying next to your pet while doing math. It looks different for everyone. Homeschooling is learning alongside your children, seeing the light bulb go off in their heads when they have a new discovery, laughing together, overcoming struggles together, figuring out what works and what doesn't. Homeschooling is not about sitting at a table or even doing poetry tea time. It's about the adventures, the memories. It's about the adventures you have together, the memories you're making together, the discoveries you're learning together, and the love you're sharing with one another. So yes, this is what homeschooling looks for us. But whatever it looks like for you, don't be afraid to make changes if needed or keep exactly what is working for you. And never compare yourself to others. This is your journey, your life, your children's education. So what I do know is number one, tomorrow I have to stick to the original wake up plan for all of us. Number two, I need to go bike riding 30 minutes before what I did today. And number three, the kids have to set timers for each subject so we're not stuck on the subject for the whole day. We did great though, we had fun, we got everything done. Now they have one hour of screen time. My legs are really hurting from that bike ride. I'm gonna go soak in some Epsom salt. And then we are probably gonna cook dinner and then if it's not dark out, uh, either maybe just take the kids out front today to ride bike and skate and then maybe tomorrow go to the park I do want to have them have some outside time Today we'll see if the little girls are outside for Ireland to play with so this dining room table This is going to be as clean as it's going to get until uh, the weekend Because this is where we homeschool out of right now once my room is set up it should be tidy every day after homeschool. But for now, this is this is what we have to work with. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.